So on this video we're going to evaluate the whole uh, battery solar situation. In this case it's, it's what I'm evaluating for myself and my own needs. Some people may need a lot more solar out west. In my particular needs I've experimented with the solar on the side and uh, I've tried different things. I had the two flooded batteries but uh, I've come to the conclusion that no matter how much solar I produce, I need to have some way to store it if I really want long range storage. And so I have to decide if I want to go with a different type of battery. I have the two flooded batteries. And for me, I've decided for now I'm going to stay with those. I've got the solar on the side. <clears throat> I have the uh, 100 watt panel. Now I don't have the 12 volt refrigerator, so I have the two way which works on propane so that really helps me out so I've come to the conclusion that I want to decide if I can run for one day at a harvest host in the worst case can, uh, situation so uh, we actually were we were going out we, we, we went out to an area um, at a harvest host and it rained the whole time we were there so I'll show you the results of that and uh, we'll do a conclusion at the end so we just unplugged from the truck here just a minute and it's 100% on the solar and the battery. So we're going to see how this goes over the night. We have a, a rainy, gloomy night, so we're not going to get hardly any solar. Matter of fact, the solar panel now is drawing barely 0.2 amps. So last night when we uh, turned on the that went strictly to uh, electric with the battery. We were at 100%. It, after we put our awning down and back up again, it went down to 85%, and it gradually dropped overnight, and uh, finally settled at about 75. And it's been it's 74 this morning. Uh, we have ran the light here. We have run the fan on low all night long, and we've charged one phone. So uh, it's done pretty decent considering we've got no solar at all. It's been raining all night. So even this morning, I'm not sure if we've got any solar. What's it we got? Yeah, barely, barely any solar showing up. The testing that we did here on a rainy day were, uh, gave us a good conclusion that we could keep our enough charge in our batteries to do what we needed to do and along with a few other one of ours we uh some of our other trips we took we took one trip to a harvest host up in michigan and also up in northern indiana and uh we uh on those particular setups we actually got a good indication that we could go one day and then hook up to the car and charge another day and then continue on the next day. Obviously if you can pick up solar in that particular time period you uh, increase your voltage even more and with our added suitcase solar it should work out well. So in conclusion we've decided that we have what we need in this area for our one night stay out. We basically can go to a harvest host, stay the night, uh, have the power we need, hook up the next day and move to the next place we'll charge our battery in that particular case worst case scenario and we will be just fine with that setup uh other set setup might be like they go to mammoth cave or a national park where they don't have hookups again we're we have that one day window that we do do pretty good and possibly push a second day if we have some solar so that's just something we're going to keep in mind here i think it's going to work for us right now we just don't have the need here to upgrade to lithium batteries and have that additional storage capability so I hope that helps some of you all out here maybe in the eastern United States you'll understand more what I'm talking about like I say if you want to go someplace and stay for several nights and you have bad weather where you're not charging with your solar and even with your solar case suitcase solar you may have problems with that and you'll have to upgrade your batteries but in our particular case it's going to work out so that's about all I have for this video, and you uh, put in your comments what you might be thinking about upgrading in your particular unit, and 
what your needs might be. And we'll see you again on another one of these videos.